So you read the four hour work week and now you think you're gonna go on the beach, you're gonna make hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars without doing shit. I call BS on that. Tim, if you're watching this video, I love the work that you do, but I hate the title of your book. The four hour work week is an incredibly dumb concept. It doesn't make any sense. You cannot become successful passively. And I'm gonna get into that. But the reason why I wanna make this video is because every single day on Facebook, on YouTube, and even people that email me in, and they talk about how I build passive income. There is nothing passive about being successful. You cannot be successful being passive. And I wanna make this video because I just wanna shatter that concept that you have in your mind because it's basically like poison in your brain. Now I wanna preface this video by sharing with you that there's nothing that I'm gonna to try to sell you before, during, or after this. This is gonna be one of those ads where I share with you how passive income is a myth and it's a scam, and I try to sell you on my idea of passive income. Passive income is a scam and it does not exist, and I'm gonna share with you why. Passive income is one of the biggest scams in the world. If I believe in this, then I would not have been able to build my first multi-million dollar business by 24 or be one of the youngest entrepreneur organizations members in Vancouver. Maybe I'm the youngest member in the world, I haven't confirmed that, but for now, I don't tell you that to brag about my success, but I tell you that because it's possible for you to become successful without believing in this passive income scam and this complete myth that you can just become successful without doing anything. That's basically what passive says about everything that you do. I just wanna make sure that you don't fall for the scam like I did when I was in my teens. You know, I believe in the passive income myth and this thing that you can basically become successful without doing much. But I wanna shatter this for you because I'm really reached a breaking point. Every day when I go on YouTube, I go on Facebook, and even people email me in, and they keep asking me the same thing on how to basically become successful passively. And there's ads that are bombarding, and you definitely have seen this, from people that are selling you how to become passively successful, build that income, and they make money selling you how to make more money being passive. The only people that are successful that are generating passive income are the ones that are selling you the idea of passive income. Don't you find that interesting and weird? Can you become successful passively? Think about all the different areas that you can do this on passive lifestyle. Can you become fit passively? Can you do passive health? What if you started today just leaving everything up to chance and then you just didn't work out, you didn't exercise, you didn't eat clean? Can you become healthy being passive? How about the idea of passive relationships? How about you talk to your partner and said, from now on today, I'm gonna be passive about our relationship. You know for a fact that if you did not invest in the relationships and all this stuff, it would fail. How about the idea of passive success and income? It's the exact same thing. It makes no sense that you can become successful passively. And one of the reasons why I said earlier in the video, it's a poison in your mind, is because when you start believing in passively becoming successful and generating passive income, you start falling into the mind, that your mind, you're embedding the idea right here that you're saying, I'm gonna be able to get something without doing anything, or doing the minimum amount and getting the most. Bring me one successful person in the entire world, one successful person, even that you know or in your circle, that's become successful passively, that did not actively work 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 hours a week to be able to build a success, the empire, or whatever success means to them on an ongoing basis and be able to stay successful passively. It does not exist. So make sure that you don't get this poison into your mind that you can basically do the minimum effort and be able to become successful. It does not exist. The next one is illusion. Passive income is one of the great things that create the illusion of uh, investment. You know, there's a lot of people that tell me, Benson, you know, what if people that are investing in real estate they get a portfolio of real estate, whether it's a single home, a duplex, a triplex, or a 16plex, or, or a building. They build it up and then they passively make the cash flow from their real estate investment or their portfolio. I'm like, sure, that is income, but think about it. Why would you, if you invested hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars of your own money or other people's money, and then you're passively leaving that project on its own or that investment? You do not become successful managing your investments on a passive basis. You have to understand the markets, the risks, the challenges, all these things on a day-to-day -day basis, on a weekly basis, and a month basis. So why would you think that investments in real estate are passively giving you money when you have to actively manage it? And people tell me RSPs in Canada, 401ks, those are passive income. And I say, sure, but if you've invested 40, 50 years of your life to be able to generate that income and if you stay passive, think about what's gonna to happen to that 401k or RSP. It's gonna decrease. You're gonna go down. 400k is gonna become 300k, 200k, 100k, and eventually it's gonna be zero dollars in that RSP or the 401k. So you cannot be passive about something because the moment you're passive, you lose the grip on it and you start losing it and it starts depleting. 
You cannot become successful, as I mentioned before, getting successful and staying successful being passive. You have to consistently manage it and be able to grow on a daily basis and embrace it. That's why the idea, and it gives the illusion of real estate investments, RSPs, anything that you invest in, gives the illusion that it's an actual passive income when really it's not. You're actively having to manage it. Two core things before we move on into the next point of why passive income is one of the biggest scams is because the idea of being able to have passive income, bring me one person that's been successful that you know in your life that's passively gotten to where they are and they weren't born into wealth or having a silver spoon in their mouth. Bring me one person. If you comment below and you let me know, I'm gonna send you some money. I'm gonna send you some passive income from that. Wait, sorry, no, no, repeat the question. Uh, I mean, this is just a discussion, right? Open, open conversation, right? So that's, that's in my mind, like passive income. Like you put a little bit of work into it? You put like 100 hours of work and then afterwards like 10 hours of work a week just to maintain it. But that's not passive though. If that's your definition of that, passive that, that's though. That's how I see passive income. It, it looks like that in the short term, but Amazon, products change, consumers change, competitors come onto your site or come onto an Amazon, then that increases all these different variables. And then you, instead of you thinking, oh, I'm just going to put five hours a, a week or even four hours a week, that four hours is gonna become more. You can't stay competitive without putting in the amount of work. It just doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. It's like, it's like you work out to like get really fit, you're jacked, and then you just say, hey, I'm just gonna maintain this working one day a week. But eventually your body is gonna get older, you're, you're not, not gonna eat the same nutrients, and you're slowly gonna deteriorate. So there's nothing passive about it. Just the fact that we, there's so it's just the fact that there's change in variables shows that you can't be passive. Because you, like you said, you put in 100 hours, you put in four hours, when all that stuff happens, come competition, Amazon, your four hours is definitely gonna become 10 hours, 15, 20, 25, 30 hours. So there's nothing passive about putting 40, 50 hours a week. One of the main things why passive does not exist is change. Change is one of the factors that exists throughout our life. You know, people change, our markets change, the economy changes, Everything is, the core variable is change. So how can you be passive about something that consistently changes? When something changes, you have to react, you have to adapt, you have to take an action. So there's nothing passive about that. Embedded in nature, embedded in everything that we see all around the world is change. So you cannot be passive about that. There's nothing that exists within passive, passivity within change. Another thing is passive income is a great idea for the people that are selling you courses on how to build passive income. They're making passive income by selling you how to be passive income. So don't fall for that scam where you buy something where people lead into it because they try to seduce you with the idea that you can get something from nothing, which is very, pretty much like poison in your mind. And once you embed it very deep, you're gonna find out that you're not gonna be very successful. And all the people that are selling you passive income, they might be making some money now, but in the next few months, next few years, I guarantee you they're gonna crash. They're not gonna make the money, they're gonna lose all their stuff because they themselves, they know for a fact that passive income does not exist when they're actually doing it. It's only a great idea when they're selling you this biggest scam in the world. So now you're probably thinking, what is the solution, right? Passive income doesn't exist, should I quit? What should I do? And you wanna be able to cultivate yourself to become the most trusted person or the most valuable person within the company if you're working for a company or if you're an entrepreneur, become the most valuable person to your target audience, your clients, your customers, and add value to them by solving their problems or achieving the results that they want. And you'll be able to become successful. And there's nothing passive about that whole process. As I mentioned early on, I would not be able to be where I am today if I just passively did that. And I'm happy that I learned the hard mistake and lesson losing tens of thousands of dollars in my teens, losing them tons amount of time, the amount of mental stress and the, all that stuff because I believe in the scam of the passive income ideology, which is basically poison, right? Like I said before. So don't believe in that. Focus on becoming a personal value to the world. Hone in, be laser focused on a skill or on a problem that you wanna solve. Communicate that with your target audience and then you'll become successful. You'll be able to focus on doing what the most successful people in the world have, do, have, been, have been doing and they continuously do to become successful. That's how you become, uh, are able to build your wealth, build your success. The distinction that I want you to understand at the end of the day in a nutshell is that the idea of passive income, when you embed it in your mind, it's something that's gonna translate in everything that you do and it's gonna hurt you in the short term and it's gonna hurt you in the long term. The concept of that is something I cannot stand behind. What I can stand behind though, when people tell me this, that's what entrepreneurs is leveraging your capitals. I have this capital, you have this capital, you wanna focus on leveraging these types of capitals. Now what are they? 
your financial capital. When you take your money, you invest it into something and you're able to leverage that in your business to make your bring on a team, you're able to use it for marketing, for use it for advertising, your human capital. When you're able to bring on people and scale yourself, your business, when you're delegating to all these things, when you're able to scale your mental cap capital, your knowledge capital, relational capital, all these things, when you're able to communicate and build your network and leverage the relationships that you have, when you're able to leverage the amount of information and knowledge and pure wisdom that you can learn through other people, your network, your board of advisors, board of directors, uh, if you're an EO, your, your forum, that you're able to talk with the challenges, the struggles, the objections that they have and be able to bounce ideas back and forth. Those are all the different capitals that you can leverage. I can stand behind leveraged income when you're able to leverage something and then be able to build more off it actively instead of thinking that you can just passively grow all these different things. I have these different types of capitals and you have these capitals. Focus on leveraging and building them as an asset because these things are what's gonna make sure that you're gonna become successful and stay successful in the long term. When you start to really look at it, Richard Branson, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, Larry Ellison, Elon Musk, they are not where they are today because they passively got to that position or the success that they've been able to create. They did not focus on passive income when they started. They focused on being passionate about a problem that they wanted to solve in the marketplace. They focused on developing a result for a lot of people, they create a business, and leverage the capitals that they had in their life to be able to achieve the success that they want. So that's why if you start from the beginning of passive income, you will not be able to become successful if you consistently believe in that. The final thing would be that success in anything requires that you to be active in anything that you do. That's what you wanna focus on is being active. You wanna be very involved in the entire process. Nothing you wanna attain in life that's meaningful is gonna be passive. So I want you to keep that in mind. Now that's the most important thing and I understand that passive income is a very alluring, seducing concept and even I wish that there was passive income, but it does not exist and I do not want you to fall for the scam. But thanks for watching this video, I just want to share with you that passive income is one of the biggest things. I want you to comment below and I know that there's going to be some people who watch this are going to say that you know, I'm, I'm full of BS, the passive income does exist, this is how it does. And I respect your opinion, but in my experience and out of all the thousands of entrepreneurs and even people that are not entrepreneurs, they're successful, they did not get there passively and they did not stay there passively as well. So comment below and let me know what types of passive income you think is passive income or how you're building success, what are questions that you have and then I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching this video.